Hey YouTube, I'm back. This is Tales from the Booter. So yeah, bank holiday booter. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to one tomorrow, but this one was on and I've done all right, I think. I've actually got some nice retro as well, which is a fucking bonus, about bloody time. Um, and yeah, a little bit of sort of, I wouldn't say current, I suppose it is current, for the 360 and um, PS3. But you know, some of them I'll keep, some of them I'll move on. You know, make no bones about it. But some nice other bits, some nice retro bits, so well happy. Um, for those that maybe don't watch the sort of general pickups video and just only tune into this one, uh, I did, and many thanks to all of you guys when YouTube is a month, so please head over to the 16 Bit Brothers channel and check that out. And uh, equally, like I mentioned in the other video, perhaps have a look at some of the older videos and some of the other previous nominees and, you know, go go over, wander over their channels and uh, have, a, have, a, have a butcher's, as they say. Mm. Mm. So, maybe probably the last major booter, I think, for the year, perhaps. You know, when you start getting to September, the weather's very uh, unpredictable. So, we, there may only be a couple more, if that depends. Um, so, there's a chap I'll go with. He, he, we maybe go to some indoor ones. I don't know. But, I'll just sort of say, you know, these may start to sort of dry up a little bit again as we sort of get into autumn and stuff like that. But, that's for another time. This is now. This is what we got today. A few interesting tales, to be honest. Just annoying. Just annoying stuff. Um, <laughs> there's one lady there, right? I'll tell you, I'll tell you this story now, just, just to kick it off. Uh, there's a lady there, and she had some Xbox games. And she had some on the table, and there's some in the bag, like a big, not a fucking... Ikea bag. <laughs> so she goes, well, that one's on the table for £4, them in the bag of £2. All right, okay. So I look at the table, and for £4, I was like, a bit like, well, I don't know. I don't know Xbox prices very well anyway. Uh, so I looked in the bag, and there was, I think there's Bioshock, and there's something else I was interested in. So I picked up, I think, three games, and I said, oh, would you do three for a five? Like, no, £2 each. I'm like, what? And I was just like, and one of the other guys said to me that was looking in the bag, he said, oh, Bioshock's only like £1.25 now in uh, CEX. So I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, look, most of these, some of these games are only a pound odd or so now. Would you do them for a pound? No. So I was like, fuck that off. Can't be doing with it. Uh, I don't know if last week if I told you the story about the uh, the pregnant woman. Did I tell you that about the PS2 box? I'm not sure. But anyway, last week, I, I can't remember if I told you, because I was half cooked by the, by the time I was making it with Joe. There was a lady there, a family, uh, the dad and stuff of the, the, the box PS2, and uh, basically she wouldn't let anybody look at anything. You couldn't even like touch it, you just had to look at it, uh, because they weren't ready. There's a similar story to that today. Not as bad, uh, but that really irked me. I, I did say something to her, um, and the moment in defence of her, oh, but she is pregnant. I said, well, look, there's no need to be fucking rude. That's, there's no need for that. Um, I don't know if I said that anyway. I probably, probably told you, and I'm just like, because I'm getting old, so you're getting old and fuddled and too much ale, and I just can't handle it. Right, enough bollocks. How did we do? Pretty good, pretty good. I'll start off with just some, some smalls, if you like, not really grouped together, just random bits that I picked up. Um, first up, seeing this, I thought, oh, well, that's quite a nice colour. That's my much, and a quid. Uh, it's not an official one. Rock candy, but it's a, it's a proper 360 one. So it's one of these. Let me just show you. For a quid, I thought. Always useful, and it looks in. I don't think it's hardly been played, man. So it's a rock candy Xbox 360 controller. Uh, I don't you see. You can see the name there. It's, it's weird writing. It's hard to sort of read it. But um, yeah, I, I think it's quite funky. And like I say, it's got all the. It's got all the leads, it's got the lead, but I, know, I did notice on it, I think. It's got one of these like old style free, um, Xbox original breakout leads, so I'm guessing normally that would be uh, missing. But um, it's there. So, uh, 
quid. We'll have that. Sticking with single controllers, there was a lady that had a, an Xbox, original Xbox, a couple of games, nothing spectacular. I looked in the bag, a couple of controllers there, the big chunky ones. But they had this in there, so well, how much is how much is the controller? Oh, that, guy, that goes with it. I said, yeah, but this is a Nintendo one. Oh, is it? I said, yeah, yeah. I said that's for that. That's for that. Showed her. But obviously, didn't have a fucking clue. I said, I want, what do you want for this? Your pounds? Would you do fifty p? Said, yeah. So I've got myself a GameCube controller. Bit grubby. Just needs a clean. Quid. Can pick that up all day long. Right. Bit of Metal Slug X running. We're back here. Um, this is quite a nice little find. Now, I've seen this lad. He's not so much a trader, but he, I've seen him a few times turn up with bits. Um, I think last year. I hadn't seen him all this year. And it was a little bit overpriced. And he was there this t t today. And he had like quite a lot of PS2 stuff. And he had these big like just bags. Bags of like cable shit, like shit ton of um, original Xbox uh, um, remote controls with the actual infrared thing, like just bags of shit like that, my mate was like rummaging through all, I think he got some G-Con guns, and so he beat me to him basically, and uh, he'd looked through the bags, and he, I think he picked up two Game Gears, or he looked at the Game Gears, had no backs on or anything, one of the Game Gears had a game in it, so I popped the game out anyway, I said I'll, I'll put them back, he ended up picking them up, I think pound each, but he'd looked through the bag. So I had to look through the bag and he missed all of this. And I told him afterwards and he went, oh, I don't know, I'm not that bothered. It's, don't know. The Game Gear game is Shinobi, which I've got, but I'll have that. So I've got Shinobi. I've got, I found this random in there, uh, the Smurfs for the ColecoVision, which I thought was really nice. He's a bit of a clean. And the pick of the fucking lot, Honestly, was another network adapter for the PS2 and the instructions and the disc with everything in it. Fifty p for all that. Fucking <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I spoke to him a little bit to be fair because he's, he's a nice young lad. He's there with his mum. He's nice, nicest guy. He's quite quiet. And um, I just sort of said, "Oh, you haven't, yeah, you haven't just had to, had to sort out whatever." He goes, "No, no, he's, his mum chipped in. So he went, he's into bikes." So all right. So essentially, he, he did have quite a lot of um, gaming stuff, like I said before. And uh, he's now got into bikes. And his mum was sort of saying they've, they've got like they've built another garage. Uh, never, never a shed and then an extension onto the re original garage which is full of bikes, he's got about 500 bikes so obviously he's just getting rid of stuff but 50p yeah right um, trade fodder CEX trade fodder incoming I should do like a little like that shouldn't I whoop, 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 like flash a screen or something um, that's exploding there. For two quid, Wii Sports Resorts. I'm sure that's a four pound, if not more, game in uh, CEX. That's where that's going. Picked this up. This is just for my collection, so to speak, for me to someday play. Two quid, Hitman Absolution. Uh, these are 50p each. Uh, there might be one. Or two in here, not a need, that's about it. 50p each. Whoop whoop. CEX. Sonic Heroes, no manual. Crash Bandicoot, Rafa Cortex. No manual. Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. I might need that one, I don't know. That's that's complete. Uh, Tom and Jerry wore the whiskers. No manual. So a lot of them get really manuals. Headhunter Redemption. I may need that, I don't know. That's complete. Star Wars Battlefront 2, that's definitely on its way to CX. Or, if, like I say, if anyone wants any of these, let me know. Um, pretty, it's got, it, that's been played. Uh, yeah, they may want to polish that one. It may cost me a quid to clean that up anyway. And quite a good game, actually. Soul Calibur 2. Yeah, I might need that. 
is a bit of a pot. Like I say, for me, what did, what did, I, what did I say? One, two, three. It's three fifty. So we should do three quid. He went, yeah. So three quid for all them. I'll fire them off. Like I say, there might be one in there that I need or two, but the rest are just get fired off to CX, and it'll be more credit to buy GameCube and Wii U games. Weirdly enough, right? Look on their website. There's quite a lot of Wii U games I never even knew to come out. Like a SpongeBob one and stuff like that. Because they're not in the shops, they don't sell them, it's just like online only. Never would have known that we were out. Right. Um, well, a bit of PlayStation. Pick these up. One gate, because I think when I sort these out, I think I'm missing the manual for this. I can't remember. That's the amount of 50p each for all the quite good cases. So to do three for a pound, you went, yeah. Again, I've, I'm pretty sure I've got this one in here. Formula One, if not for, just for the case. Need for Speed Hop Shoot 3, I think I've got this, but again for the case. And the one that I think I'm missing the manual on, and it's quite a unique case as well, you can't just swap this over, is NBA Extreme, NBA Jam Extreme. So it's got the little hologram there. That's all complete. Pound. Sticking with three for a pound. These were three for a pound, yeah, they were. Um, me, me, me lizard mates were there. <laughs> they were they still said to me, uh, "What was it? What was it one of them said? Yeah, watch what? Yeah, watch his watch his comment. No, 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 he said to me, oh, um, he said something to his mate about what he was going to say to me, and he, he got the right response. But I fucking told you, he said, oh, I'm, I'm not looking for games. He went, don't talk fucking bollocks. And he went, I told you to say that. I told you to say that like this. Um, but anyway, I've seen one of them looking at these games. They weren't anything special. I don't know what he, he... I don't think he picked up anything great. To be honest, I think I probably picked up the better game out of the whole lot. But for a pound, I grabbed Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, The Hidden Empire. I have this, but I thought I'm going to get it as part of the bundle anyway. And if not, I'll use it for the case. So if anyone's interested, let me know. Hardcore 4x4. Now, I don't know if I've got this. Can't see it's behind it. The camera then, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if I've got that. The case is boshed it. So again, I have to swap it for Rebel Assault if 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 I if I don't have it. Yes, well played. And the one that was quite when he did pick this one up, I thought, okay, he's obviously just picking games that he knows or he knows of, if that makes sense. So I grabbed this. For, the, for different reasons, obviously, and it is, uh, it's all back to front actually, Steel Harbinger, it's all upside down, back to front, and this is, like I say, it's a newer release, um, later release rather, uh, newer release, uh, number 373, I have no idea what it's about, it looks just like a sort of uh, open wheeled Blast the crap out of them up. Danny's little girl is out to save the world. That sounds a bit shite, doesn't it? Uh, well, a little bit dodgy, but yeah, there you go. Still Harbinger. Three for a pound. Okay. One, one, two, three, four. A few lots left. Feel my eyes going. I'm getting a bit tired. That's what happens when you get up at fucking. Actually, quarter to quarter to five this morning. I've been up with the dog. I've been up all most mornings with the dog this week. Fucking knackering me out. That mutters. I will show it at some point. I brought her in here to just chew the crap out of everything. And Craig, you bastard. Told you. Told you. I knew it. Fucking knew some cunt had said. I told you. It's not to say she did chew the game. I still can't prove it. Uh, but I'm not taking the risk. Anyway, right. Where do we go? Um, I just, I just realised some of these games I didn't even check. When I bought them at fucking half uh, five in the morning. Right. 
There's a lady that turned up with um, a daughter and a nan. They're quite nice people actually. They, they, you, know, you could get on with them, kind of laugh, of the, whatever. So I didn't have to ask. There's a bag on the floor. I'm just spied in the corner. A little sort of particular case, like a PlayStation 3 case. So no, actually it was a Wii. It was a Wii game. Wii corner. Uh, the white white case. My mate was good. He was like just game chasers caught him slipping basically. And uh looked through the bag and I was like, how much of the games? And she went, Oh I don't know. So then my daughters. I said, okay, so well look, I picked the ones out that I wanted. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five games, I said oh, five quid. She went, Oh no. Oh we've got to have at least two pounds each from. So she wanted a tenner. So I tried to get them down and then she put the guilt trip on me. And if she wasn't, I think her daughter was probably a little bit older than mine, she was probably about 11 or 12. She said, look, there are her games, she's safe for this, that and the other. I said, oh, you evil witch, you evil bugger, I said, putting the guilt trip on me. So what I did, I said, I said to the girl, I said, come here, here's your ten. I said, don't give it to your nan or to your mum. I said, spend it on sweets. And she went, they went no, she's going to get the booties in. I said, no, you don't get any booties with it, you go and buy sweets. And waste it all. Um, so for ten quid, I don't believe these were the girls anyway, but, wow, well, it is all part of the fun. I got on the PS3. Star Wars A Force and Force? Star Wars A Force and Leash. No, it's not 007 and that's not fucking Sean Connery, but anyway. Uh, yeah, it's all there. Um, this one I was quite happy to get actually. Um, it is. Um, 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 it is the Classics HD Split the Cell Trilogy. There you go. That's all complete. Trade Fodder, CX, uh, Mario Sonic at the Olympics, again. About a pound for every time I had this game, right, I'd have about fucking 11 quid. Um, this one I'm not sure if I've got. I haven't done my Wii games in the order. Sonic Colours, complete. And pick a bunch, and I'm sure I picked this up from CX. Um, Let's just go to show you. That's actually got the points in it. They're yeah, long gone. Um, but yeah, just goes to show. You know, have faith in the booter, and it will, it will, it will deliver. Um, Pokemon Rumble Revolution. I think it's the second one I need. Battle Revolution. Sorry, not Rumble Revolution. Uh, Battle Revolution. So yeah, then five, two quid each, ten quid. There you go. Oh shit. Alright. Ba -ba Do this now. Remember I already picked up quite some nice Mega Drive games a while back. I said to you, there's a guy there who just like house clearances. His name's Clive actually. I found out his name's Clive today. He knows my mate who buys with the bongos and all that sort of stuff. And they were there anyway. And to be fair to the guy with the bongos, who does buy games every now and then. I wandered over and I said, alright Clive, yeah, alright Clive, how you doing, blah blah blah, anything, anything doing, and to be fair, Robin sort of, this, the other chap I know buys bongos, Robin, kind of helps him out a little bit, and I think he gives him a bit of a cheaper price, because he has a big fucking van thing, it's only him and his missus, and to be fair to Robin, he lifted up this thing, and he pulled this game out, and he showed me, I was like, you, I thought to myself, you bastard, and he, he, he handed it to me, I was like, what? Because no, he goes, you, 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 you have it, I was like, you sure? He's like, yeah, 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 so that was really nice of him actually, because he knows, I know he knows, this is this is a, quite a sort of after game. To be fair, it's, it's, it's um, a system I'm looking to get rid of and I can't fucking get rid of it. It's like the Amiga, I keep getting it. But I can't say no. I'm addicted. It's like, it's like beer, I can't say no, I can't, I can't say no. I have to have you, I have to have you. I love you but I hate you. Um, and the game in question is Metroid 2. So I might keep this because I've kept a couple of Game Boy games. Um, it's in wonderful condition, I must admit. Pound Clive wanted, so like Robin sort of said, off. Actually, so how much Clive is the pound? You're going to do. And then, to be fair, again to Robin, I say he's helping him empty the van, so it's probably how he gets a lot of his stuff. Found this, 
handed it to me, and I was, uh, and I thought when I found the weapon, it's got batteries, it's going to be fucking corroded. It wasn't. So how much he went? Oh, he was, make me be, be fair to me. So two quid. He went. Oh fuck yeah, it was three quid. I thought, you know what? Because he sought me out of metro two, although he doesn't realise it. I said, yeah, go on three quid. So for three quid, I've got black Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Just can't get rid of them with the cover. If anyone was interested in that, let me know. It probably won't be. And then later on, say because he's got bags of shit all over the place. He had all the Africanos. He was telling me a story where they, 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 someone tried to run off with like two pounds of worth of like tops and stuff. And he only wants like a pound each from him. And he's just like, why did he do it? I said, I don't know, mate. He was getting really racked off. He was effing and jeffing all over the shop. Anyway, in the bag, I noticed it's pushed against the plastic. It was just in the bag of clothes. Pulled it out and said, I went, 50p? He was like, yeah, go on, fuck. He goes, I don't, I don't do normally accept 50p, pounds a minimum. I have no idea about this game. Honestly, i never heard of it before, so someone might better tell me. For 50p, I've got a Game Boy Color called Gift. That's it. That's all I know about this game. By Cryo. I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Right. Right, right. Four lots left. Was there any other stories? Oh, there was a story. Um, Dave, Retro Dave, I'm not sure if you're interested in this. I'll try and put the picture in. Let me know because I know the guy. Uh, I think he was after 15 quid. Maybe I have to work something out for you. Maybe I'll get you for a tenner. But let me know. Here it is. Somewhere. I know you're into all that, or if, maybe if Dave's not, if someone else is, then let me know. I'm, Dave doesn't want it, then let me know. But say it's not me, it's the guy I know that, that, that had it there. So uh, I just saw it and just I just thought of, just thought of Dave. Um, what do I do first? What do I do next? Right, let's. Cause that's quite a good deal. I'm just trying to think of the finale. I'm trying to finalise it. Finalise it, is that a word? Probably not. Um, we'll do this one, these first. Right, so remember I mentioned at the top of the show, because I, have, I, I do have, have a show. This is a show, and I am a showman, or a host. Very inebriated shit host, but I am a host nonetheless. I mentioned about the lady. Oh, I can't look at anything. I can't touch anything. You can look at it, but I can't touch anything. So today, there's a chap there. And, uh, what was he, what did he, he was getting out DVDs, that was it. And my other mate, he likes his wrestling. There's some wrestling DVDs there. So I looked at them. And he was putting them in, like, rows on the floor, like, rows along on the floor. So I'm actually wrestling DVDs. And she, and she pipes up. She was a nice girl, but fucking hell, you know, there's no need to be like, Oh, we don't know. We're still setting up. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't worked prices out yet. You haven't worked prices out yet. You, you, you're doing a car boot. So the day before, whenever it is, you, you'd have no idea what you're going to sell anything for until you, you set it all up and it all looks pretty. Then you make a decision. Really? So I was like, okay. So the lad was, or the, or the guy, he was sort of milling about, putting stuff out. And I just said to him, so you haven't got any, um, any, any video against it? He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got some somewhere here. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'll just loiter. There wasn't much doing anyway. Then sure enough, fucking pulls out a box, and another box, and empties in all these games. I was like, okay. A lot of PS2, a lot I've already got. And I did sort of say to him, how much of the games? I said, oh, we're still sorting out, we're still sorting out. For fuck's sake, you having a laugh? And we don't know any prices. I was like, oh, okay. And there's a few nice titles in there, so I thought, fuck that. Because he said, oh, I've got some PS1 games as well. I thought, fuck it, I'll just wait. I'll wait. And as he was putting them out, a few of them I was just picking them up, just putting them in a pile for bollocks here. So, for 15 quid, this was. He worked, he did some weird math. He was like, these are two, these are a pound, they're three pound, that's this, that's that, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, look, what do you want for it all? <laughs> for cooking. 15 quid, yeah, fine, done, here we go. So, 15 quid, right? I managed to get. And I, 
this one first. I've been after this actually for a while. And I might put it on in a minute. I will actually I'll put it on after this. I can't remember if I picked this up. Oh, sugar. It might be Mark. Mark Holmes. Was someone picked this up. Anyway, it's X2. By, uh, by Team 17 Ocean. On the PS1. Shmup. It's all complete. It's all there. It's all lovely. And the disc is quite nice. So let's... Um, I'm saying that right. I'll put this fucker in it won't work. You watch look alright. Twat. Yeah, so X2. Hopefully it works. Um I seen this one pop out, I was like, I'm having that. Absolute fucking no brainer. That's 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 in. That's um trade fodder or like I say if new you boys and girls are interested, it's uh Move, be moved on. It's a platinum version of Resi 2. It's complete. Although the front in the front plastic there seems to want to jump out all the time. I think one of the, the things are notched out. But yeah, all that. Both discs. <sighs> Other than dust, it's fucking immaculate. So anyone's interested, in that, give me a shout. If not. No bother. Near bother. What's oh, not the dolphin? Mm. Never played this. Um, yeah, I say he had the right mixture of games. He's obviously a bit of a gamer himself. Um, There's a few other little bits I was interested in. Uh, but he knew he was a collector of he was a collector of multiple things. I'm guessing he had some wrestling magazines or wrestling magazines with a pound each. He's all them or duplicates, you know, ones I haven't got. So he's obviously collecting all the old WWF ones, you know, like Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan. And it's just nice just to see him. He's really, and he had um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original um, Eastman and Lard um, comics. The proper, I remember having them as a kid. I remember like buying them from the um, news agents. And we talked about the new movie and stuff. I said, look. You know, I've seen it because I've seen it, like, inadvertently. Hint, hint. And uh, I just sort of said to him, said, as a 12-year-old kid now, it'd be fucking awesome. But so for us, us old, uh, you know, old heads, so it's not the same. It's just not the same. But it's just a good movie. I think it's, it's an alright movie, but if you know the Turtles as we were known from the 90s and that, it's not the same. You'll be a little bit disappointed, I think, anyway. Right, that being said, a couple of games, like I said, the one of these I needed... Which was talked about the CEX one where I waited because it had this in CEX but it was not complete. So I think for a pound, I'm sure he said it was a pound. The Italian job, LA Heist. Actually, on uh, Retroplex, that's a, a hidden gem which I did not know. But that is all complete. So, as me mate Rich King Retro says in Retro Goddess, we trust. Uh, sticking with a cube. Dave Mirror, I wasn't sure about that one. I have got that. That is complete. Uh, actually, I'm not. I need to check because mine might not be complete. This one I definitely got, but I thought, again, it's 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 nice trade fodder if nothing else. In really good condition, actually. I mean, all these are in fine condition. Uh, Black Label Sonic 2 Adventure Battle. Have you seen this yet? Just doing this. Right, a couple of Wii titles. Unless someone wants this, you know what's coming up. Whoop, whoop. CEX trading. Uh, it's out of Twilight. This one I might need, I think. They're all gone in back in condition. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, which I did pick up on the 360. Uh, on the PS3, rather. Clone Wars Lightsaber Jewels. I don't think this is any great shakes. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I picked it up in the scratched version a while back. Um, it's all complete. I'll, I'll probably keep that. 
And lastly, not the lastly, last from the from the Wii games is and this guy seems to get about a lot. Mark it out. SpongeBob. Globs of Doom. That's all complete. Yeah. And then, like I say, he had, he had like, you know, like, like, mixture of stuff going on. A couple of Game Boy Advance games. Tootie, why are you buying Game Boy Advance games? You meant to get rid of them, yeah, but I can't help it. I haven't even looked in these, you know, I just looked and just sort of seen it as a cartridge there. Yeah, it's there. I need to probably move a lot of my to pay for fucking Blackpool now. At Blackpool at Manchester, play Blackpool. Ready to rumble boxing two, complete. Everything's in there. Very nice box. That is the cartridge. The box is fucking. I'll show you the box, man. Let's see. He's looked up the boxes. Anyone's like likes the box pornage. That is. That is a sweet box, I'm telling you. Straight, straight as a fucking arrow, them edges. We'll take out of this uh, dope bag, though. <laughs> Put in a dope bag, right? And it's still in this little bag anyway. What the fuck? There we go. So we're ready to run with boxing two. I'm going to find a new home. And again, the little fucking yellow bastard turns up. SpongeBob spare spare pants, spare pants. I've got no spare pants. I don't wear pants. Um, is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. It's about six names on it. I'm thinking it's Super Sponge, Super Sponge, or it might be Shady Shoals. I don't know. One of them. And it's got everything in it. This is one of them weird Game Boy ones where it's kind of like the inners are built into it. But again, very nice box. A little bit more edge wear to this one than Hingy, but yeah. So yeah, I mean, do you know what? When I was asking them about that, I was wet them again. I thought, you know, they're gonna fucking. He's gonna turn around and say. Well, we want five pound for the Game Boy. We want six pound, but he didn't. He was, he was quite reasonable, actually. Be quiet, isn't it? Right. I'll leave them because that is the Marvel Retro. I'll do this pile. This is quite a nice little find. There was a young couple. And I've told you before, with the, the way that the car boot I go to, it does it, in, does it in rows, and then what they tend to do is top fill the end of the row, so they'll have a row that, that, that ends at that point, and they'll go all the way across, and then when they extra people come in, they'll fill them up at the, the top end of them, so this is what happened with these ones. Some people could turn up what I would class as late. Uh, I did that to one lady. I can't remember who it was now. When I bought one of the games. And I, uh, it might have been um, Wii Sports. And I sort of said, oh, I'm a child. She said, oh, two pounds. I said, oh, would you do a pound? She said, oh, no. I said, what about one packet? She said, no, she said, no it's still early. It's still early. It's fucking at eight o'clock. It's been here since fucking Bastard R5. It's fucking... <laughs> but everyone's perception of early and late is different. Um, but anyway, so these guys technically turned up late. I think it might have been maybe 8 o'clock, I don't know. But I've seen the spines in the box. It's stupid, I've just amateur games, and there's a sign just below it that says games are a pound each. Which is a fucking bargain anyway, right? So I went through and I went, I'll just say it. Oh, it's not Count them all up, and on that record, it'd be 24 quid. And I said, We do 20 quid, it's a lot. I said, Yeah, so for 20 quid, I've got all these. I'm not going to go through them to be honest, they're looking really good condition. Quite a lot of these will be like whoop whoop, see, extraining fodder. Um, but 
It's a no fucking brainer. Call of Duty 2. Sean White snowboarding. They may not even be worth a pound. Quake 4. But I know there's a few in there that will offset the whole cost of the, the rest of them. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, Unreal Tournament. This is it Unreal Tournament? Uh, Crash of the Titans. Tom Clancy's uh, Split Cell Double Agent. This one I haven't got. So I will keep this. So I'm some look at that. That's a, that's a reversible. That's a better insert. Uh, Pikmin. New control, new player control. But I think I prefer this. So it's a better insert. Look, I'm going to put that one in. Instead, I like that one better because it looks more in keeping with its traditional. I don't like that one. That looks like it looks like a value series fucking front cover. So I'll just put that in there. That's quite good. They've done that actually. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like being changed. It doesn't like being flipped around at all. Don't it look? Why wouldn't you have that as a, as a default one? Still need to adjust that a little bit. Uh, Fable 2. Classics. Well, I haven't checked up. I did check one or two of them, they were a mint. Condemned 2. Wally. Uh, I'm not going to get much for this. FIFA 06 World Cup. Yeah, whatever. There's a couple of ooh, Wii games. Uh, My Sims Party. Yeah. Let's say a few of them are probably about worth a pound. Uh, Job Island. Sims 2 Pets. Some lots of Sims. Sim Animals. Trauma Center New Blood. These are all in very good condition. Uh, Mirror's Edge. Yeah, I think I remember them saying yeah, the, the case is a bit balked. And then, hang on. Fours of three. And then the ones that are going to... Where the money is. Batman, Lego Batman. Lego Pothead. Lego Indy. And Lego Star Wars A Complete Saga. So... 20 quid for I think about 24 odd games ish. I mean, to be fair, I probably could have, you know, in hindsight, I probably could have said, like, take FIFA out, take that out, take that out, take that out, and then made them enough on the rest, but I just thought, fuck it. 20 quid. There we go. Right. To finish off. Nice bit of retro, proper retro. Probably that rattling. Right, okay. So, I'm doing the best way of doing this. Um, so I've got to change that because that's going to annoy me. I'll do these first because these are newer. New, new retro. Chat there. These, these are the first thing I bought in the morning. He was about two rows in. If that. Seen this boot. The sort of. Um, the cases. I knew straight away what they were. So tomorrow, do you mind if I have a look at your game? So no, 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 carry on, mate. And there was a bigger bag than I thought. Look through them all. And there's a few games that I knew straight away I hadn't got. And a few that I knew I had. And there's a couple of us like, oh, I'm not sure of. So I picked four up. So how much are they? And he went, five pound each. I was like, oh, no. no. I was hoping to say 50p or something. Then I would have bought the rest. But he said, no, five pound. He knew what he had. Um, 
So I said, yeah, got any other, other stuff? Yeah, yeah, I've got a Spectrum there. I didn't want the Spectrum. And uh, I've got PS1. So I've got any games for PS1? I said, no. So I picked these four games out. So technically 20 quid. So I said, well, you do 15, no, no, blah, blah, blah. And then I settled on 17. So for 17 pounds, I've got these. Now, one of them I do have. Uh, I can't remember if the one I've got's got the instructions I need to check. And also the sort of condition. Because this is not bad. It's got one, it's got two stickers on it that kind of are not great, but the insides are phenomenal. And all of these, a bit smoky a little bit. So the one I think I've got, well, I know I've got, in what condition, I don't know. Is Alicia Dragoon on the Mega Drive. Now, for a while I've been after this, a lot of people were, you know, especially fellow YouTubers had it and they want silly money and stuff like that. This is mint. Again, I've got it. I don't know what condition I've got it in. This one I don't have, but I do now. Needs a new case swapping over. It's uh, Another World. Great game on uh, the Amiga. This is um, Flashback. Obviously, this was the first, the first one on Another World. I remember playing this on the Amiga. Outstanding. Outstanding game. Um, nice one to get that I didn't have. Again, all complete in very good condition. Oh, someone's left some little codes in there. And it is at the Sonic compilation. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean. So, yeah, I mean, you know, four, four odd quid or whatever, you know, I want to call it, I got them for. Not too bad. And actually, an uncommon one is a pa Panic. Which is like a tetris -y type game. I say the insides are, are really good, they've really been looked after. So he had a few more, there's a, there's a couple more that he had Dizzy, he had Cosmic Space, and I'm sure I've got both of them, but I wasn't sure. Cosmic Space, see the problem is I get confused with the master system. Um, Cosmic Space had Fantastic Dizzy, and I've got them in two in one, but I think I've got them separately. He hit, uh, Lemons of Tribe, which I've got, I've got that from Charity Shop. Uh, he did have gold knacks, which I did need, but by the time I went back there, the, the rest had gone. I think that was it. All the rest of them I had. So, yeah. I only had the Mega Drive. He won 30 quid for Mega Drive. Uh, Mark 1. Still box. It's still, it's still there at the end. I, I didn't need it. I'm not paying 30 quid out. Right, so the last lot. This is This is interesting. Oh, I completely missed these, and I think they've been there for a, a good chunk of the day. Now, whether any had sold, I don't know. I'd like to, I'd hope not, but I don't know. So essentially, what happened is um, the, the chap that I sometimes go to the booter with, uh, you know, he goes and does his thing, I go and do my thing. Sometimes we walk around a little bit together, and then we'll split off, and we just do our own thing essentially. And if I see some, I'll tell him, and vice versa. Because he, he's, he, he's into different stuff than I am. So he said to me, oh, did you, did you see them Atari games? What Atari games? And I thought he meant the store where I got the um, network adapter from and that. I said, oh, what, where, what, in, what in the bag? And we, I, we got our wires crossed completely. He was like, no, no, the old woman's store. I was like, what, what you want? I don't know, I don't know. So we went back there and to be fair, we'd been sort of like ships and night for most of the day. And this was probably about nine o'clock so quite late and i was like oh they're probably gone mate they're probably gone he goes oh i want to have a look so we walked past there's a stall there and there's no wonder i walked past it right because from my perspective anyway it was literally just full of like kids clothes and then some kids toys like brats and barbies and all that kind of stuff so as some of us car boot heads would know you, you kind of have that peripheral vision where you sort of skim stuff um, he went, oh, there they are. I still couldn't see them. I was like, what? I went, no, no, behind, and I don't know why they've done it. They've put these behind some of the clothes and the, the, the dolls. They're like kind of obscured from view, which served great for me, like. I was like, all right. So there they were. Some Atari games. They're looking through them. 
So I'm talking to two young girls, literally young young girls. So they're all two pound each. So I picked the ones out that I needed, which I think was like one, two, three, like fourteen. So it was one, two, three, four, five, seven odd games, whatever it was. So I wanted you to do a tenner. And all of a sudden this old crow, fucking from nowhere. Fuck, I thought, oh, sorry, I didn't fucking know you were there. You're like, fucking hell. And uh, anyway, it turns out that they're not hers. They're a, a nephews or sons or something like that. And he wants minimum of £2 each. He said, but what you've got there is £14. You can have a lot for 15 Which is okay. That was literally, I was 15 quid. I was tapped out then. To be fair, it's near enough the end of the day for me. Like, say, 9 o'clock anyway. So I was hummed and hard. I was like, okay, I've got that one, I've got that one. But I bought them anyway. And they were coming. They just tried to give me this plastic case they come on. And I didn't want it at first. And she said, I was going to throw it away. I thought, you know what, fuck it. Actually, it'd probably help a little bit with the storage. Not, not a great deal, but it, it looks all right. So, old school, proper old school. So we've gone 16 bit. Now we're going fucking 8 bit. We're going back to the 2600. A nice little case. There we go. 15 notes. We got Missile Command. So just wanted two quid each of these. This one I've never heard of. Blueprint. So I don't know if any of these anymore have been uh, purchased. Spider Man. All got nice labels on bar one. Um, kangaroo. Galaxians, I think my Galaxians, I think it's the label's actually sha shafted is shite on it. Um, hemorrhoids, I mean asteroids. Nice one to get, I don't know if it's any good though. Action Man, Action Force. Another nice one, I think. Label needs re-sticking. Which is fine, I can deal with that. Making sure there's no shite underneath it. No, it is not. It is a mash. No, I think it's there, but it's a proper Fox video. This was the one, this has got the worst label. I've sort of gunked it down a little bit. It needs a bit of glue. Robot tank. Tut ank amun. That's how you much to say it, Tut and Amun, or as we know it, Tutankhamun. Reactor. And then lastly, the obligatory fucking combat. <laughs> so yeah, I mean what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve games. Fifteen quid. One pound, 20, 30 P or whatever, I don't know what it is. My, my, my match is shit, my mental tick. That's it guys, that's me, that's me done. Thanks for sticking by me. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, bye bye.